Good day, folks. Uh, today, I'm hopeful that I'm going to solve uh, my hydraulics problem here on the old David Brown. Uh, I've never seen such a convoluted system as they have, although my understanding is that it was highly sophisticated for their time. But it's not uh, it's not helpful for those of us who are not careful in terms of what we're doing and actually reading the instructions. Yeah, I see you had the book out. Yeah, yes. That's a little unusual for you. Well, you see there's a control, uh, and we'll show you that, that has three settings. Uh, so if you grab the manual and you go to where it, it's on what it's called a TCU, Traction Control Unit, and follow the instructions there uh, to, to get your external hydraulic set up, it can totally screw you up because there are actually two ways to set up that TCU. One in which it works as traction control, and my understanding is that this traction control is it, it senses the tension of your implement that you're pulling on your three-point hitch, like a plow. And, and if the pressure gets too much, it starts to automatically raise that to reduce the pressure, and then will gradually lower it up and down. And that's not what I want. What I want is simply external hydraulics. And so, <clears throat> I have to go to the proper section in the manual to do that. So you stopped reading too soon, is that what you're saying? Well, I started reading in the wrong spot because <laughs> I assumed TCU only had one function. And it doesn't. It has two separate things and, and again, any of my other tractors like this has stuff that I've just not seen before. So when you're not too bright, you got to be careful. <laughs> so if you come around to the other side, uh, we'll, we'll get started We'll see on if, this if this is really going to work. We can actually solve this. Well, and one comment I might make for, for those like with us uh, who are kind of one-man show with older equipment, there will be breakdowns and there will be issues and it's really helpful if you're a jack-of-all-trades. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> At least there's YouTube University to help you out. Not on this. Sir. Didn't help you on this one. <laughs> okay, Not let's see that. what you can do here. All right. All right. So the first thing we have to do is start the tractor and then change the position of this lever here. And that lever is what? Well, that's a darn good question. I think it has something to do with the what's called the ram cylinder, which operates the three-point hitch. And over my head. Anyway, anyway you need to move the over lever. over my head, too. Okay, so what did that last little maneuver do? It's called uh, following the instructions. Ah, I, okay. Well, what I did is I, I took it out and just repositioned it back into this TCU function, which 
has two purposes and hopefully we'll get it to the right one. Okay. So, after that, hey, we need to adjust the valves. So we have three totally different valves. This one is for the hydraulic, uh, external hydraulics, which needs to be open. That's open. This here is the one for the three-point hitch. This needs to be closed. <laughs> Seems to turn a long way. It do. Okay. This one, I think, can be either open or closed. We're going to try it first closed. And I think we're actually ready to... Let me check here. <laughs> yeah, go back to the book. Okay. Set the finger point guide to the lower position. Finger point guide? Yeah, I know. I think this needs to be down. This last. I think we'll we'll try it there. Okay. Alright. So now what? Well, so we'll start her up and see if we can. but insufficient pressure. Not enough pressure. Okay, so after lots of friggin' and farting, what did you figure out? It's still working totally inadequately. Uh, things have not improved even a tiny bit. Like that's an old dry dent log. That it shouldn't uh, have any struggle with. Right. Uh, somewhere it's just not working properly. And uh, I'm failing to identify it. <laughs> Back to the books. Well, I don't think it's the books. Uh, there seems to be, you can see the line jump into the trailer when with the hydraulic pressure. And it just seems to me that it's getting there, but it's not. It's having trouble coming back. Well, and we took off the uh, return line with the quick coupler and double checked to make sure that that was open and, and not plugged up and so my limited mechanical capabilities here are getting really tired. <laughs> time to move on to something else and come back to this at another time. All right, time to fire up the old sawmill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, assuming this may be one video, we'll sign off, say thanks for watching uh, this pathetic attempt. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Keep attending YouTube University. <laughs> Right. <laughs>